All right, everyone, here's a quick introduction to Google Sheet. Let's say that I want to calculate S square sample variance. Now you can see from the formula, it requires multiple steps. I need the average. I need to take every point minus the average, square it, and then add it all up. All right, so I want to use the spreadsheet program to do this. Now, everything that we're going to do in Google Sheet will be almost identical on Microsoft Excel as well and other spreadsheet program. Um, uh, it's the same. Uh, so here's my data set. So first thing I want to do is go to Google Drive, open up a new spreadsheet. Here my in my first column. This is going to be my this is going to be my XI, and I'm going to type in the data set here. Uh, in this case, I have to type it in, um, or you can just copy paste the data set if you like. Okay, so either you type it in by hand or copy and paste, you have it in the first column. Next thing is we got to do is we got to create two more columns. The first column is going to be xi minus x bar, and the second one is xi minus x bar squared. So first let's label it. Here is xi minus x bar. What you type in here doesn't really matter as long as you know what it is. So you can label it however you like. And the next one here will be xi minus x bar and all all square. Okay. Now, first thing, I, first thing I need is I need to calculate the average. So I'm going to move it to this. I'm going to do it over here. So here's my x bar. X bar is just the average. All right. Now, to begin any function, you start with the equal sign, equal, and you start typing it in average. And then Google Sheet is going to give you these suggestions. So here is average. And then I can go ahead and select this. Uh, Google Sheet is smart enough, it's going to ignore that XI, it's going to ignore text here, and that's the average. So this is the average of the X. Next thing, I want this column to be XI minus X bar. So in the cell, I'm going to hit equal, and I'm going to select this, minus, and this. This is the, this the average. Now, before I hit enter, and then before I can drag down and copy all the formula, right, I want to make sure that uh, for every data point is subtracting the average, which is back to that cell, the purple cell here. So I want to put a dollar sign around uh, H. So in front of H and in front of two. This way, when I hit enter, hey, let me ignore this first. This note, when I hit enter, now if I drag this to copy the formula, right, it's going to behave correctly. So if I if in to check your formula, just double click on the cell and you can see this is um, so a six right minus and is referring to the correct cell. This is the average here. So very good uh, when you're in this mode, a uh, hit escape so you can get out. So you don't um, um, uh, change the formula any. Uh, maybe this is too many decimals. So if you want to change that, you can here decrease decimal spaces. Let's go to four. Okay. Now the next column, I want to square the previous column. So again, equal, select this, and square. Okay, and then hit enter. Okay, I'm gonna ignore the suggestion for now. All right. Now I can drag down, drag down, and then paste the formula. Okay, you double check again, double double click on the cell. You can see it is indeed squaring the previous column. Look at the look at the formula again. So the next thing I want to do is sum up the last column, and then divided by n minus one. Okay. So I'm gonna collect the information here. So here is gonna be sum of square. Again, what you name it doesn't really matter as long as you know what um, uh, what is going here. It's equal sum, and then I'm gonna select this, this column, close parenthesis, enter. Okay, so that's the total, and then in this here, I want to put the sample size, n equals. Now I could count this by hand, but I don't want to. So I want to use Google Sheet to do that. So the function is called count, right? All right count the numerical values, select that. And you can just select this, close parentheses, and hit. So that's seven. So there's seven data sets uh, or seven, um, yeah, seven uh, elements in, in, in this total. Finally, I am ready. So. I will hit S square equals, okay? And if you look at the formula, you can see that I want to take the sum, sum of the square divided by N minus one. I'm going to do that here. Again, equal, take the sum, 
divided by. Now in the numerator, you want to make sure it's n minus 1. So you want to use parentheses, n minus 1, and enter. Voila. Okay? And that is the sample variance. Okay? And now we're done.